It's not my face and they just made it look younger. It's a 100% digital character. It's the first ever 100% digital human. So I didn't see any of that. When I, it was eight months before I saw the scenes and when I saw the, me and my new digital clone, it was spectacular. A little, it was actually a little freaky. <laughs> In trying to draw the differences between the characters, one of the things, you know, and looking back at myself and what was the difference between me then and now, and one of the things that I, I came to is my younger self was, um, because he was naive, he was wildly aggressive. 
You know, when I when I was that age, like it, everything was possible. I, I was the, totally fearless. And, uh, you know, I, I just turned 51 last week and at my 50th birthday, I sort of went on a quest to recapture some of that youthful courage, that youthful fearlessness. Well, it's groundbreaking. It's new. It's, you know, who thought we'd come to a day where we see a film where an actor like Will Smith acts with a younger version of himself. Amazing, fantastic. Like, Ang Lee is one of the best out there and the perfect person to do a film because, like this, because, you know, it has, you know, we, we're dealing with the most advanced technology there is and he's a real technological buff in terms of film. But he's an artist, he cares about script, he cares about character, so, you know, he's, he's interested in the nuance of all of that. So, to be doing a huge monster movie with someone who's so specific and detailed is perfect. Sit in your seats and buckle up. If there were seat belts, I think you should put them on. I mean, it's really in your face movie making in a way that is really exciting. Will is just one of the most fun, open, energetic guys. And I think to mute all that in certain ways, to have him be this quiet assassin was a great choice because I think there's such energy under everything he's doing that then dramatically takes you through the story in a way that's really exciting. What Aang is working on, I think he's on the cutting edge of filmmaking and he's continuing to experiment with what the future of filmmaking is. You're getting a lot more frame rates per second and so the look of it feels and looks really different than what you're used to so it feels really different as well. Um, it feels like hyper realism and for a movie like this I think it's perfect. Audiences are in for a hell of an experience. There's something that they've probably never experienced that, you know, uh, the, the, the way that these cameras have been uh, uh, made to shoot at 120 frames per second. Shooting like that uh, in the countries that we've been, you know, it will be immersive Dolby surround experience, yeah. You'll feel like you're actually there in these countries, you know. You know, you'll have a quick tour around Savannah, Georgia, Cartagena, Colombia, Budapest in two hours, yeah. And uh, an incredible story, and it's utterly jaw-dropping when you see two wills play off each other, that uh, you just, your brain is tricking you. Well, it's 120 frames a second, normally it's 24 frames a second, so it's five times more information on the screen. It's so bright, it's so clear, there's no eye strain in 3D, you have to see it in 3D. It's just, it's fantastic. It's immersive. It's like the actors are actually in the audience with you. Well, I'm excited to see it with all the fans. This is going to be fun when we have a full audience in there and a lot of people. So, plus, see all the cast and Ang together again. It's a reunion. It's like coming back to camp. We have a new uh, technology. Uh, it's just eerie, eerie to see. I would imagine to see the two of them in the same shot uh, in a different age. I think with technology, we always use that to chase our imagination. We never can, but we'll try. I think uh, the digital cinema has its own thing that we don't quite know the potential yet. So I'm just reaching what it can give us, what it allows us to do. And the young Will Smith is one of them. Futureprevews.com. Go behind the scenes of movies. Subscribe to Future Flicks YouTube channel.